Hey YouTube, um, post has just been, uh, been out for physio and uh, just got back, post has just been and uh, got lots of stuff so I'm going to uh, unwrap it right in front of you. So start with the smallest first. These, uh, these small ones are some uh, electronics items that, uh, that I've been waiting for. Uh, I've got an amp in the garage that I need to repair and these are the bits that might repair it. So first things first, some MOSFET washers, second one, thermal paste to go with the washers. And what's this one? Ah, so this is the last bit of that puzzle. A pair of MOSFETs. Right, these are the final amplifier stage for an amplifier that I've had sat in my living room for a while, um, not being able to do much with it because of uh, what with Jackie and my wife being in the hospital and me being in the hospital and various other bits of real life going on, just not at the time or the, uh, the ability, but uh, finally got around to it, so hopefully I can repair this amp this weekend, get it back to its rightful owner. Okay, the next one. I ordered this yesterday. This is actually a neoprene lens cover. But if anybody saw my YouTube channel yesterday, they will see I just um, I just got a, a UCL micro candle lantern, and I thought that a lens cover bag, as in a DSL. Uh, sorry, an SLR, digital SLR lens, a bag such as that nature might be a nice little padded bag to put the um, put the candle in or the candle lantern. So that's very nice indeed, that should fit just nicely. Draw string at the top, little hanging loop, and a belt loop. Look at that, 2 95 delivered. Outstanding. Wonderful. Right, last of the small things. <sighs> Better gardening gloves. Very nice, six pounds, lined, nice vegetable dye leather, good job I got those because the next thing is the thing I'm going to be needing these gloves for, and that is this bad boy. So, let's get to it. Where to start? My 
wonder, well I know what's in this box, could only really be one thing and just as I'm opening it on this end it tells me what's in the box. So if you've been following my channel for very long or recently you'll know that I'm getting back into the outdoor life. Um, been doing lots of walking as part of my rehabilitation of my ankle and uh, recently purchased some more gear to help me in the uh, surviving the great outdoors and this thing isn't going to come apart without human intervention And obviously as part of me being able to uh, sustain myself outdoors, uh, I'm going to need to chop some wood. Never let it be said that Andy Rag doesn't have a big chopper. So this is a Swedish made hunting axe. 38 quid plus VAT from mytoolshed.com or oh, .co.uk it UK. Um, it's made by a Swedish firm Hutler Fors, who are predominantly a tool making firm. They make uh, lots of different hand tools and uh, workwear. Um, also a very nice range of uh, cheap um, but very very good uh, outdoor well craftsman's knives. Um, you may have seen my video on the Halter Force, Force GK uh, that Tom bought me for, for Father's Day. Well, that's made by the same firm. That firm has been making axes for several centuries, and this is one of their modern uh, classic range axes. Very nice. It's a hickory handle. The grain, not that I know much about axes, but from what I've read, the grain in the handle should run up the handle. Um, leather head protector. And uh, a hand forged head. It's got a good beating face for knocking things in. That's, wow, bloody hell. Sorry. That is pretty sharp. Made in Sweden. There you go. Well, I'm more looking forward to uh, trying this bad boy out. Don't know whether you'll be able to see, but the uh, profile of the edge there. That is pretty sharp. And the head has uh, wedged, and then they've put a, like a steel cylinder in there to uh, to keep it in to retain the head. A pretty reasonably well finished handle. Lanyard hole. Great stuff. Can't wait to get my uh, get going with this. Um, just pop that down. And uh, obviously, you've got the edge protector, which 
it's looks like it's at least two mil more more like three mil leather um, riveted just with a basic finish on it over there like that and then pull on that thong and that keeps out there like that. Tuck that back in there. What a great piece of kit. Smashing. So, axe, gloves, lens case, some candle lantern case and some electronics bits and pieces. Not a uh, not a bad morning's deliveries. Um, got some other stuff coming in the in the afternoon, but that's just some uh, some DPM clobber that I've ordered uh, for for me and Tom. So uh, time's cracking on. I uh, better get back to some work. So uh, speak to you later. Hey, hi, hello again. Uh, didn't expect to be doing anything this early, but something else has just arrived. And this one is all the way from Finland. I wonder what this could be. Actually, I do know. So, um, not long ago I bought a knife. And uh, it was the Anglo Arms Nomad. Nice little knife. Um, based on the uh, on the Bailey knife that was commissioned for Bear Grylls, um, not very not very dear at all. I mean, I think it was less than a, a tenner. God, I'm not, I mean, I might may get into this, but um, the sheath is awful. It's basically um, a cheap nylon fold over thing, and well. I mean, it, the quality reflects the price of the, uh, the the knife package itself. So, I've taken the decision to build a new sheath. Um, so last week I got some Kydex, which is a thermoplastic um, that, uh, that can be used to make uh, gun holsters and, and knife sheaths and stuff like that. Um, but what I really needed was the bits to make it, you know, all stick together and, and what have you. Um, and rather than import stuff from America and spend a lot of money on postage and packing and import tax and yada 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 yada. Um, a good, well, I call him a good mate, that, and I don't know the guy, but um, one of the guys on the Bushcraft Forum uh, put me in touch with a company in Finland, uh, Brissa Knives. And, and they stock all the bits that you need, including the Kydex, which I actually bought off eBay. So that's what's in here, the bits to complete the sheath. So let's just have a look what we've got. Okay, let's come in a bit closer. So we've got a quantity of six millimeter eyelets, and there's 40 of those. Some Chicago bolts for basically clamping uh, things either onto the sheath itself like a belt loop for instance, or assembling extra bits like a, a loop for uh, for a ferro rod and a flaring tool for the eyelets so that I can actually seat the eyelets, get them flared properly and, uh, and make a pucker job. So that's, that's what's come. So now I can start building the sheath after I fix the guitar. Well, maybe not. 
So, been a good day so far. Also my son's birthday. Happy birthday, Tom. Love you to bits. Um, so we'll probably be going to the pub later for tea. Um, I might have to help Tom out with his bin lid. It's basically a, a fake dustbin lid with uh, loads of stuff on it like chicken wings and onion, onion rings and corn on the cob and a big pile of stuff um, which he likes so yeah I might have to give him a hand with that as well as a little steak for myself no doubt. Um, can't drink though, my shoulder's playing up and I'm on some tablets for it so I can't get lashed. I haven't had a drink for ages. What's it coming to? <sighs> anyway, enough of that. Yeah, so... Uh, all the goodies are here. Almost. Um, almost. Bit of a rant coming now. My Hermes, you suck. I ordered some stuff from uh, from a supplier on Tuesday and I got the tracking code on Tuesday, probably within two hours of making the order. The item wasn't collected until Wednesday tea time and then it must have sat on their wagon until Thursday tea time. So the status at the moment is it's somewhere in their system. How crap is that? I ordered these things on Tuesday hoping to get them for the weekend. I mean, even parcel farce can get stuff here in two days. Come on, guys, sort yourselves out. Okay, that's me done. That's my rant. No effing and jeffing. <sighs> Onwards, eh? So, thanks for uh, sticking with me. Um, give us a like. Give us a dislike if you hate these kind of videos. I don't care. Um, if you're a troll like that, you know. If you just don't like stuff, don't use the dislike button, just move on, you know, life's too short. And uh, stay tuned for some more boring, <laughs> some more videos. Um, yeah, I'm kind of getting into this now. Um, it was a bit weird talking into a camera at first. Uh, but uh, hopefully I'll get to finish the, the filming of stage two of the Sheffield Country Way. And I might even get out and do another leg of it soon. But that's the film, gotta go. See you later.